So today I had someone send me an email asking me how could they color a clip without having it affect the elements that were applied to that clip. In this case, it is an effect and it is a call out. So it's one of the effects that you can apply and it's a call out. So let me quickly add that call out onto the clip and then show you how it's affected and then how to fix it. So we'll just jump right over and I'm gonna do this kind of quick, but these are my call outs that I have on my website. Don't really wanna make it about the call out. So I'll come over to the effects and we'll come in and I wanna quickly do one thing just because uh, I wanna show that this is copied over. So if I have my tracking information, right? So I'm just going to uh, take a look at this. I'm going to uh, move this down and let's just start tracking this car. Actually, let's come back to the beginning and we'll track this car. And let's make this a little smaller and we'll switch this over to best match. So tolerance and we will track that quick. And I'm just grabbing tracking information here. So good, take all of this and we will quickly add that tracker information onto the callout. So now we have the tracking information onto the callout. I'm gonna move the callout item down a little bit. Actually, let's move it over here. Okay, so now this is the problem that they're having. They applied everything and then once I come over to the color page, we can see that we're manipulating this. This used to be white and now it has you know a little bit of the purple there. Or if I bring this down, we can see that it's also getting darkened, which we want it to be a separate element. So to fix this, what we'll do is we'll come back over to the edit page. From the edit page, what we're gonna do is click on the clip and we're gonna hold down Alt or Option and we're gonna drag up so it makes a duplicate of it. First thing I wanna do with this duplicate is we're going to right click and we're gonna to go to clip color and we're gonna change that particular clip's color just so that we know that that is the call out. Next, I wanna click on this bottom click, clip and we're gonna turn off the call out itself. Coming back over to this top clip, I'm gonna come over and hit this little button here to go into the fusion comp of the top clip. Okay, for some reason it didn't go into that. Let's try that again. Okay, so now we're over here. And from here, I'm just gonna grab a background and we'll turn all of the colors to zero, even the alpha, and we'll pipe this into the callout itself. So now if I view this, it's just the callout and we'll leave the rest of the stuff there. It's not really needed, but it is still going to have the tracking data as long as the tracker is still there. So we'll come back over to the edit page. And now if we were to disable this clip, we can see that that is you know, there. And if I disable this clip, we can see that this is still here. The other thing that I would like to, or I would recommend doing is taking your, your clips, right clicking and go to link clip. What that will do is if any point in time you have to make an, an edit, when you move one, it'll move the other. And because there's tracking involved, uh, they won't get uh, out of whack. Coming over to the color page now, uh, because we colored the one clip, we can now, it's represented over here with the orange dot or whatever color you pick, and it's down here in the timeline as well. So I can come back over to the uh, the background, which is this shot, and now when I manipulate this, it's not changing the color of this. As you can see, it's still white. If I was to bring this down, we can still see that, right? So hopefully that makes sense now. And as you can see, if I move this around, it's just changing the color of just the call out. So, uh, Hopefully that helps you. Um, I know that a couple of people might have this question. It has been sent to me a couple of times, so I decided I was gonna make this a public video on the channel, and I can just link to this instead of just sending in a private video, which I typically do for the support. But with that being said, I am out of here. My name's JR. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, peace.